we're back again and I'm picking up we're doing Psalms 96 which we have called a thousand hallelujahs and let me just read the psalm again um, in the in the in the adaptation that we have adapted the psalm uh, of what we're actually singing now sing to the Lord all you people sing to the Lord all you earth sing to the Lord every family sing to the Lord lift your voice Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and all beauty are in his sanctuary. Great is the Lord and worth a thousand hallelujahs. Sing to the Lord. Fill the skies with hallelujahs. For he is good. Give him all the hallelujahs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord all ye nations. Kneel to the king all the earth. Give to the Lord all the glory. Glory that's due to his name. And then again, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and all beauty are in his sanctuary. Great is the Lord and worth a thousand hallelujahs. Sing to the Lord, fill the skies with hallelujahs. For he is good, give him all the hallelujahs. Let the heavens be glad and let the oceans roar. Let the people rejoice and make a joyful noise. So that's... Uh, that's our psalm, and now I'm going to read this psalm to you out of the Jewish Bible. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, everyone on earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation from day to day. Relate his glory among the peoples, among all the nations, his wonders. That the Lord is great and exceedingly praised, and awesome is he above all all heavenly powers for all the gods of the nations are nothings wow but the lord made the heavens glory and majesty are before him might and splendor in his sanctuary a, a, a tribute to the lord O families of nations a tribute to the lord honor and might a tribute to the lord honor worthy of his name Take an offering and come into his presence. Prostrate before the Lord in his intensely holy place. Tremble before him, everyone on earth. Declare among the peoples, the Lord reigns. Indeed, the, indeed, indeed, the world is fixed so that it cannot falter. And then it says here, the heavens will rejoice and the earth will be glad. The sea will roar with its fullness. The field will exult and everything in it. Then all the trees of the forest will sing joyously before the Lord. For he arrives, he arrives to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and nations with his faithful truth. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. So. Let me just see here. So this is the seventh psalm, which was, which Moses composed. The seventh one. Right, I'm going to put that there. And then I'm just going to read a little bit to you. Psalms 96, 1 to 3. The thing that I wanted you to see here, actually, is that the first verse, even though we don't have it, in our, our church psalm that, we've, that the Lord helped us to compose, the first verse of the psalm does start off with, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Right? Yeah. So sing to the Lord a new song. Actually, we might even write another song of Psalm, Psalms 96 too. You know? Because, hey, we can do that. But the new song, that's quite important. Sing to the Lord a new song. The new song is an echo of the approaching revelation of salvation and of glory. And this is also the inexhaustible material of the joyful tidings that go forth from day to day. So with all of the things that are full in our heart, we can sing a song, a new song that's never been heard before. We've never sung it before. It's never even been heard before. The composition of that just comes out of our hearts as we just sing to the Lord. The word new here 
implies that there was some fresh occasion for celebrating the praises of God. Every time you get a fresh revelation of the Lord, it is to celebrate the praises of God. And it is worthy of opening our mouth to sing a new song because there's new revelation. There's new insight into the wonders of God. So the word new here, I'm going to say that again, implies that there was some fresh occasion for celebrating the praises of God, that some event had occurred or that some truth relating to the divine character had now been made known, which could not well be expressed in any psalm or hymn currently in use. It is a call on all. This psalm is, in a, is a call on all to celebrate the praises of the Lord in a new song, new, particularly as it calls on all the earth to join in it. For me, it's a very powerful part as well, even though I say that we're not singing it, all the gods, all the gods of the nations or idols in verse 5. All the gods worshipped by the people of other lands are mere idols. So this song is a call to everybody. Stop worshipping your idols. Stop having other things that you think is, is so wonderful when actually the God of, who's, who's created all the earth He's the one that's worthy to be praised. So all the nations, all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods worshipped by the other people of other lands are, are idols. None of them can claim to have a real existence as gods. The word here rendered idols, the Hebrew word means properly of nothing, naught, empty and vain. So when I read you this psalm out of the Jewish Bible, it says all the gods of this world are nothings. That's very accurate according to the Hebrew word for idols. Of nothing, naught, empty, vain. The meaning here is that they were mere nothings. They had no real existence. They were the creations of the imaginations. All other so-called gods, idols creations of the imaginations that could not in any sense be regarded as what it was, pretended they were. They had no claim to reverence and worship as gods. And most of them, it was a fact that they had no existence at all. They were creatures of fancy. Okay. They were not entitled to worship. And hence it was also true that the worship offered to them how would, we, how would people offer worship to idols and nothings? Well, by giving it attention, by giving it even mention, mention, giving it mention, giving it attention, and, 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 and consideration, giving it, con giving it consideration. They're not even worth it. They're not, they're not, it's not, this verse is extracted literally from 1 Chronicles 16, Verse 26, the Hebrew is exactly the same. And when I come back, I'm going to pick up from there. Hallelujah. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. See you, see you soon.